time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. This is Easter week, and this coming Sunday is Easter. So what have we been doing so far on Driving with Todd this week? Well, we've been looking at songs from the fantastic rock opera, Jesus Christ Superstar. So why are we looking at these songs? Well, Jesus Christ Superstar is about the last seven days of Jesus' life. So I thought it was very fitting to look at these songs during this week. We've looked at two songs so far, and both of them came from the 1992 Australian tour of the cast of Jesus Christ Superstar. And they're both fantastic. They're both fantastic. I really, really enjoyed them. If you haven't watched them, go back and watch them because they're great. Well, we have another request from a song from that same 1992 cast. And it comes in from my reaction to John Farnham doing the song Gethsemane, which also comes from the 1992 cast from Australia. And I did that reaction last week. The YouTuber making this request goes by the name of Dr. Cap. And Dr. Cap writes this, I love John's version and also Ian Gillen's, meaning the song Gethsemane. Ben Foster also totally nails this song in the later Australian production, especially towards the end where some of the notes he holds are unbelievable. Note to Todd, we have to do that reaction in the near future. That sounds awesome. I strongly recommend you also look at John's performance of Poor Jerusalem from this same show. You will find it in high quality on my page. It is absolutely mesmerizing, stunning, and breathtaking. And then I get a little heart emoji. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at Poor Jerusalem. Now, I took a look at what uh, Dr. Cap has up there. I didn't play the video. I just noticed that it's just the song Poor Jerusalem by John Farnham. Well, it's actually two songs from the uh, rock opera. It's Simon Zelot and then Poor Jerusalem because Poor Jerusalem is a response to Simon. And, and Simon's talking to uh, Jesus about all of his followers. There's like 50,000 followers and it's a, it's a great song. So I'm only going to be doing Poor Jerusalem. What you may want to do is go back and try to find uh, the, the Simon song, Simon Zelot song, to see where Jesus was uh, responding to. So with that said, here we go with um, John Farnham doing the song Poor Jerusalem from the 1992 production cast of Jesus Christ Superstar in Australia. Neither you, Simon, nor the 50,000, nor the Romans, nor the Jews, nor Judas, nor the 12, nor the priests, nor the scribes, nor doomed Jerusalem itself. And I just stop it. We're only 35 seconds into it. It's a very short song as well. But this is totally different. This is totally different than the album that came out in 1970, Jesus Christ Superstar, and the movie that came out in 1973. Um, Ted Neely does it totally different, and Ian Gillen does it totally different. This is very slow and, and very... Um, What's the, what 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 am I looking for? He's he's singing it very slow and very much to the point, and it's not so you can hear everything that he's saying. Where in the other versions they're a little bit faster, so it's kind of neat that there's a different take on this song. So let's keep on going. And 
It was a great performance. Again, really short song, but he says a lot in there. And, and, and it comes to the ending of the song where he says, um, you know, to conquer death, you only have to die. So he, he's kind of being prophetic. He's, 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 he's prophesizing what's going to happen, that, you know, he's going to die to save mankind. And that's where he's saying to conquer death, you only have to die so that you actually have forever life. Um, just really cool song. Uh, like I say, very short, but very to the point. And John Farnham, I mean, this is a very different version of the song. Like I stopped it at about 35 seconds and, and, and I said that, but I'm reiterating it because it is so different than the, the versions I'm used to from Ian Gillen and Ted Neely. Very cool. Very cool. And this guy's got a great voice, too. I mean, he just carried those notes. So I think that's another reason he did it so slow was to carry those notes after every line and uh, to, to give it some more emphasis. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, this is the answer to, to Simon Zelot. You really want to hear that song. And then it goes into this and, and, and he's responding to Simon, who is one of the, the 12 apostles. So very cool. Very good recommendation. Um, so we've listened to now three different songs from the Australian cast from 1992 of Jesus Christ Superstar. And each one was awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. That would be really appreciated. If you have any comments about John Farnham doing the song Poor Jerusalem, put in the comments below. That would be really appreciated as well. And I'm going to take a link to this video, which, like I said, it's not very long. You might want to watch it a couple of times. And uh, I'm going to put a link to it in my description below. So all you got to do is pick on that link. It will open up and play for you, and I won't be stopping it and making comments. I'm also going to put a link to the channel that uploaded this, which was Dr. Cap. And you might want to check out Dr. Cap's channel. I looked at it. There's a lot of John Farnham up there. So this is definitely a John Farnham fan. And if you would enjoy John Farnham, check out Dr. Cap's channel. Now, have you subscribed to Driving with Todd? If you haven't, we're doing all kinds of cool things. Like this week, we're looking at uh, Jesus Christ Superstar due to the fact this is Easter week. And, you know, we do things like compare different versions of songs by different artists. We're doing all kinds of kind of fun stuff. So please subscribe. Just go below this video, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. If you go over here and ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest videos. Again, great recommendation. Uh, a, a very short song, but a very much to the point song uh, where Jesus is prophesizing his death. So that that's kind of an interesting point to this song. So it's, I don't know, I've got to say, I'm going to put a big smile on my face, but it's, you know, kind of sad as well. But it does help everybody in the future. I hope it put a big smile on your face and peace out, baby.